Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, January 12th, and my goodness, it's 65 degrees. The sun is shining, it's a bit windy. We've had some rain overnight, it's going to rain more this day. 65 degrees in the middle of January. It's unheard of. So, that's, that's what, uh, <laughs> it's just crazy weather. I'm not complaining, I'm just shocked. Ah, so, the last of the morning coffee here, and I've got the 7LE 211, 311, I can never keep the numbers straight, and some MacBaron uh, London Blend Burley. Uh, talked about this last week. Yeah. It remains a perfectly good tobacco. You know, it's, uh, it's good. I mean, that's all that I really can say about it. It's got very nice qualities. It's very smooth. Um, I just want something else, you know. But, I'm going to smoke it. Uh, I, it's funny, I think as I, I don't know if it's as I'm getting older or, I mean, I've been doing this for, it's got to be going on 35 years now, so I don't think it's just that my, my tastes have matured. That should have happened a long time ago. But I just find myself being less and less interested in trying new things, and I just like what I like. But, you know, it, the important thing is you like what you like, and uh, that's really all that matters. If you're enjoying what you're smoking, when you're smoking it, how you're smoking it, then you're, you're doing it right. Okay, so I got a couple of important things. First, uh, I want to announce that I'm going to do a live stream next Saturday. So I'm going to try to do these monthly now. Uh, they'll be in the middle of the month, and I'm going to, the, the Saturday 4 p.m. Eastern Time slots seem to work pretty well. So we'll be, we'll be doing a live stream on Saturday, uh, which is a week from yesterday. And I'll put up a notice and I'll, I'll pre-set the thing so you, you'll see it. Uh, I'm going to be trying to do a giveaway each time, each month, and uh, you know sometimes there'll be some tobacco or, or, or something small. Sometimes there'll be uh, something else, and this time it's going to be a pipe. I got this uh, Brigham. Uh, I guess that's a Prince. Nice shape. Um, this is this is one of my pipes. I've actually cleaned and sanitized it. I've only I only smoked this pipe, I think, maybe four times. And there's nothing wrong with it. It smokes beautifully. It just isn't my kind of pipe. It just The style just doesn't work for me. Um, so I found that it was just sitting there on the rack, never getting used, and it was so close to new that I decided to clean it up, and this is going to be the uh, the giveaway item. Uh, I've also, it has the, uh, the Brigham filter system. I don't have any filters in it now, but you, you might be familiar. There's this long, uh, I think, maple, rock maple tube that goes in here. And folks that like that say that it's fantastic. Um, pipe smokes fine without the filters. I do have a box of filters, minus one, I think, that I'll throw in with the giveaway. So it's going to be similar to the first one where I'm going to ask a question and a random number uh person that gets it right will, will win the pipe and, and the filters. So I hope you'll, you'll tune in for that, uh, not just for the giveaway, which is a good reason to come tune in, but uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'll put an announcement out um, probably by the end of the day today with the, you know, the actual time and everything, but it's going to be 4 o'clock Eastern uh, next Saturday. And I've already forgotten what that date is. Today's the 12th, so I guess that's the 18th. Uh, so, anyway, hope you hope you can join me, because uh, I've, I've enjoyed them. I've had fun with it. So, let's see. I made a quick video on Friday that didn't get posted until Saturday morning, so you probably have seen enough of me for the weekend. And the big news is I got my hair cut. Uh, the, uh, the other big news is the Sander disaster is now over. I have the sander running again, uh, replaced all the bearings, put the new tracking bracket on. Uh, in total, ignoring shipping, which, you know, was a bit, but 
the total that I paid for parts, including new belts, was under thirty dollars, and the thing is running like new. It's it's, it's beautiful. I'm very very happy with it. So that was a, that was a good a good exercise at least, and I'm back in business now. So I finished up a stem this morning. Unfortunately, I I left the pipe over there, so I can't show it to you. But it was a I've got a picture of the stems, actually. I'll, I'll, I'll put a picture in here that I put on Instagram, uh, and you can see, uh, if I'm remembering this right, let me, let me just make sure I got the orientation. Yeah, so the stem on the left-hand side is the original. The stem on the right-hand side is the uh, the replacement that I made. Uh, so you can see the, uh, the contrast between the two. And uh, I just had final sanding to do when I took that picture. So I'll put that picture in here, and you can, you can see what I've been working on. So now I got uh, a backlog of about 10 pipes, and fortunately my customers are very patient with me, so we'll get those 10 pipes done as soon as possible. The sander just shut me down for a while. <clears throat> I did all the work I could on those pipes without the sander, but you know, to make a stem I really needed it. it it's, I've become quite dependent upon it, to be honest with you. Uh, but we're back in business, so that's good. Um, another thing I wanted to tell you about, and this is a bit... Uh, of a tangent, but that's okay. Um, I want to tell you about this lighter. So, I, uh, you know, I, I love Zippos, and, and I'm going to continue to use Zippos. That's that's what I, that's my favorite lighter. But as you've seen many times, I sometimes forget to refill it, or I leave it. And right now, it's upstairs, and so I I tend to keep matches around and. More recently, I've been keeping Bic lighters around. I keep one in the car, so on the roadway rambles, you usually see me using a Bic lighter. And I I needed a lighter for some reason while I was on vacation. And I remembered that I got a, a package from a friend probably two years ago now. And he had tossed a what I thought was a disposable lighter in there. And I looked at it and said, oh, I don't really need this, but... I put it in a drawer and forgot about it, and so I needed a lighter, and I said, oh yeah, that's right, I got that one. Let me see if that still works, and I pulled it out, it's a Clipper Med Lighter. Now, I don't know exactly why it's a Med Lighter, and I'm a little concerned by the uh, the green doctor symbol here, that this might be something to do with medical marijuana or some such, but it doesn't matter, it is a really nice lighter. <laughs> So I took this out, it sat in the drawer for two years, and it just lit instantly. Uh, no problems at all. It is, it is refillable, so you can, you know, just a standard butane refill. It comes with isobutane. Um, there's really very little difference between butane and isobutane. Uh, it, it works fine with butane refill, I've tested that. Um, they claim that the isobutane has less of a flavor to it. I don't really get it one way or the other. Uh, the nice thing about isobutane that turns out to be actually worthwhile for me is that um, the isobutane will has, has a, let me get this straight, has a lower vapor pressure. So at a lower temperature it will vaporize than butane. And what that means is when I have this in the car in the winter, it'll light easier than a butane lighter will if it's filled with isobutane. The problem though is that isobutane seems to be harder to get and much more expensive than, than butane. So I probably won't use the isobutane. But anyway, um, I looked these up. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. I think I got four of them for six dollars and I'm just leaving them everywhere. They're <laughs> they're really great. They're, they're, they're more solid than a Bic I think. Uh, oh, the other thing that's neat about them is this whole centerpiece just pulls out, and so that's the little flint wheel. The flint is actually in this little tube here, and there's a little plastic screw on the bottom. So you unscrew this, there's a spring, and you can replace the flint. So you can replace the flint, you can refill them. They're basically like a little plastic Zippo, and uh, they work just absolutely fantastic. They light every time. Um, so, four for six dollars, it's a great deal. So, if you're interested, again, it's the Clipper Med Lighter, and uh, they have different colors and stuff. I just went with the, the white because that's what my friend had given me, and I just wanted to keep everything consistent.
So I hope you're all having a good weekend. Mine has, uh, actually I've spent a lot of it in this room, uh, which is okay by me. Um, got a lot of work to catch up on. Like I said, that sander has really put me behind, but uh, I'll get there. I, I love doing it, and uh, like I said, my my customers tend to be very, very patient, so I'm thankful for that. Uh, oh, I guess I can't let this pass. Uh, the Eagles, uh, you know, I made such a big deal about the about football last week. So the Eagles did lose to, to, the, uh, to the Seahawks. Uh, the Eagles quarterback was taken out after, like in the, in the middle of the first quarter, I think it was eight plays into the game, uh, by a uh, clearly um, illegal hit, but the NFL has decided that there was nothing intentional and therefore... Nobody's getting fined. That's okay. It happens. I don't blame the Seahawks for that. I mean, I blame the NFL for not properly officiating the game, but uh, it, it doesn't, you know. I'm not going to say, oh, they lost because uh, it, they lost the game. And the Seahawks won the game. And as I said last week, I wish the Seahawks well. I, I, uh, I don't have any uh, dog in the race at this point. So I think uh, 49ers are in, and who else was in the uh, – I forget who – well, the Vikings are out, so that's good. Um, I can't. And tonight is um, Seahawks and Packers, so that'll be that'll actually be a very good game, and I'd be happy with either of them moving on. So anyway, this is this is actually a good time for for me for football because I, I enjoy watching the games, and I don't really get all that emotionally invested in it uh, at this point. Uh, and it's usually really good football because these are, you know, the best of the best teams. So let's see what happens and uh, wish them all luck. Well, with that, guys, I'm going to let you all get back to your, to your Sundays. I hope you're having a good one and looking forward to a great week ahead. Don't forget, the live stream is going to be next Saturday at 4 o'clock Eastern Time. And I will put up a, uh, a notification about that, and you'll eventually see the placeholder for it. So I look forward to seeing you there. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.